Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next episode on the Cornerstone SMP server. In the last episode, I, we did this lovely house. It was a small one, and it came out detailed nicely, but I want to continue on moving in this direction. So we got to reserve this one. Kind of got something special for that one. This one, it'd be nice to have the swords, but this one's going to be a large one. I need to get some ideas together on this one and maybe rearrange the layout a little bit. I don't like that these are straight. But I'm going to try to take a page out of Blue Nerd Minecraft today. And I saw one of his tutorials where he had staggered the wall. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And I think on his it was one, two, three, and then he had a flat wall. But this stagger of the walls allows us to do a little bit interesting shape on the roof. So you can kind of see, like... That's not a good example. I don't think we have any really decent examples on it. All of these roofs have been kind of flat in the front. Which is okay, but I want to try breaking up the roof line and try this out. So, yeah, his tutorial was nice. I'll try to uh, drop a link down below so you can take a look at it. But So, yeah, so basically we're going to have the structure here and I'll probably stick with... Well, I don't know. Maybe I won't stick with it. I'm thinking about doing something absolutely insane. Now, now mind you, this is going to be on the second floor. The bottom is going to probably stick with this gray theme. Uh, we've done brick with the uh, the cracked brick on that one. See, we probably can't do it, but I did more cobble heavy on this particular one. My starter house was just brick. So I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to play with. I mean, we played with um, the concrete there which actually came out really interesting. It looks like a textured, like, stucco. I really like that. So I don't know what I'm going to do for the bottom, but for the top, I think I'm going to do either the spruce stripped or maybe even try this one. I've never dealt with that block. And that's in the wrong area, but, you know, there would be another kind of beam here, but in the middle is where we'd actually have the smooth sandstone, because I've never messed with that. Um, I know Hicks uh, had mixed it into the side of that one, but it came out too bright. But I think alone, it's going to look really nice. So yeah, if you can imagine, you know, another beam there and then that one just being in between. So yeah, I think I'm going to try that out. So I'm going to stagger this roof. And I'm also going to try staggering the beams here. And if you look at the general theme, all of the beams are popped out one. Since we're trying a staggered here, I'm going to go against my main one rule. Because we're staggered, I'm going to put the beams in an interesting spot. And then the, you know, the times were like this where they might be, you know, lined up together. I'm going to put fences up the middle so it kind of breaks it up. But you will have a connected texture here. And I'm going to see if I can break that up somehow, way, some way. So that'll be interesting. I've tried to stay away from that, but I mean, we've done it in the past. That building right there is actually good. And thank you, Red, for sleeping. So yeah, and I kind of changed the shape of this. It was kind of like this, but I, I it, there's a little pop out in the front. So I staggered this front, kind of made a square room here, and then I'm staggering the back and then straight back and then staggering this side. So the uh, the roof line is going to be interesting. So roof line is going to peak this way. And then obviously this pop out is going to peak, well, same as this peak here. So it's going to be really cool meshing these roofs together. But yeah, let me get a general layout of the bottom and I still got a bait. I really want to try to make this work because that actually, this light with the acacia stripped looks looks interesting. So I might try to make that work. But yeah, let me get the uh, the base down um, and see how it comes out. And I got to kind of come up with a gray pattern so that we're not kind of reusing some of this other one. So yeah, let me be back with you. <laughs> All right, I think I got a general theme here and it totally changed from the original that I thought. I'm gonna go with the non-stripped version up here. It looks really good against the sandstone and spruce and it just all meshes together really nicely yeah so blue blue nerd minecraft is a smart guy so you actually put these blocks here and i'm like eh, yeah it kind of gives a little bit of detail but it's to hide this block over here 
And we are definitely going to stick with that because that looks way better than just a little bit of that stone behind hugging. So the other thing that we could do, which would actually totally work out also, is we can do that and then this. And that looks fine too. And I think for the interior, okay, I need to put a step there, but I didn't want to wreck my sign. So here's the catch to that. Am I gonna do a plank interior? Yeah, I'll probably do a plank, but so we're gonna have, hmm. Does that work out? Yeah, because the next story we need one block. So yeah, it actually might work out that we don't need to put this style here. We can go with this style and have the floor being behind it. So yeah, which one do you like? Do you like the, the block out there, or do you like it going into it and then turning the corner? Because what I didn't want to do is that. I didn't want it flaring out like that. Although, if we do that, it breaks up these lines a little bit. Well, I'll mess around with it and see what I like. But anyways, just to give you some ideas on what you can do. So you can either put the block in there. And I think I would want to at least break that line up. So we could either put a slab there. Actually, let's look at that real quick. Don't want to spend a whole lot of your time doing and experimenting, but... Nope, I don't like that. It's just too much wood hanging off to the side compared to everything else. So yeah, I think doing something like that to break it up. So do you like having this corner here or do you actually like having both levels having kind of a trim around it? So anyways, that's interesting. It's interesting ways of seeing what other people do to kind of break up different layers and stuff. But, but yeah, overall this theme, I love it. Yeah, so let me get more of this done and see if there's any other like caveats that I come across. But yeah, I like how this is coming together. And we'll try the orange, you know, the, the stripped uh, acacia some other time. I really like this dark gray. I'm going to be actually going back and forth in between my main base and this flower farm industrial district. Got a lot of projects I want to go and get done on this, but I love to sit and hear all these colors. This makes me feel happy. Let me show you what I got going inside. So I'm gonna to try to get all the dyes into my wool shop and this is what I got going so far. So let me run you through the list. So we got white, light gray, magenta, pink, orange, red, of course, and then blue, yellow. And then I'm gonna mix the green and the blue to mix cyan. I need black and white in order to do gray, so that one's going to be uh, take a little bit. And then it's red and blue for purple. And then blue and white for light blue. And then green and white for the lime. And then the other problem child is going to be the black. And I'm kind of getting the brown. That one's not too bad. So I'm going to need to do a squid farm for sure for this one. And then for the cactus, I just uh, smelted them down. I mean, we obviously have... <laughs> a ton of cactus, but I made a wall back here for the uh, cocoa beans. And I've been just kind of going through and harvesting these and got enough brown. Luckily, if there's there's not another recipe that needs the brown, so yeah, so that's actually not going to be too bad. Yeah, so what I might do is just buy um, a couple of wither roses off of Bodhi just to get the black stalks. Um, I probably won't do too many of them, but yeah. So let me go at least get the brown dye up. And what else was I missing here? Need a little bit more white. And then I just did the, the lilies. We're kind of running low on those, but good news is Hicks already kind of stocked those. So probably what I'll do is I'll take these and turn them into white to at least uh, get uh, this other one completed. Um, so yeah, then it's just going to be the, the black and the, the brown. We're standing outside of my wool shop here, and as much as I would love to make a whole separate shop for this dye, 
I mean, it kind of makes sense. I already got the uh, the colors all lined up. And the other thing I'm going to do is sell gold. And I got two corners here. We could do one over there. Or one over here. I think we'll just put it over here. So maybe I'll make like a little sculpture out of, out of some gold blocks. Here in the display case. And make it kind of an abstract art piece. Yeah, there. And then we can uh, put a chest down. Now I have light underneath this one. I've got to see... Oop, missed that by a long shot. Now does that mess with the lighting? Actually, it's okay because I have these here now. That kind of works out. So I'll get another quartz slab under here to put under here. But yeah, so I need to back break these down. And we're going to sell them one diamond per stack of 64. I think that's pretty much what other people are selling them for, but I'll go double check. Anyways, you get the gist. So I got, I think I brought enough to fill this thing up. Yeah, so let's go look and see how the, the masterpiece looks from the window. Like one more block coming out this way and I think I'm done. the dies, I'm just literally going to put some chests up top here. Like so. And then instead of having the sign up here, I am just going to put a piece of paper kind of like that in the middle of these guys. And I think that'll work out. And the funny thing is, is I haven't checked profits in a while, and it looks like I need to pull some stuff out. So yeah, take a look at all of this that I've done. Where's a good place to line up? Right here. And of course I placed that better. Alright, so I need to make all of these into dies, and I'm just going to do nine stacks for now. There's no reason for me to put any more in. I don't know how much of a seller they're going to be, but instead of going to buy um, With the Roses at Bodie's, which if you guys haven't seen it, is this big store right next door to mine, which is Bodie Buys, and he's now a the big box store chain that sells pretty much everything and he sells one stack for a diamond so but people know that they can actually get this and actually he's out so they probably need him for dies so when he runs out that's actually good and he's selling his gold one stack for two diamonds undercutting him on that so yeah so we're doing one stack for one diamond all right, so once I convert them, so basically I should have nine stacks of everything except for this one was the gray. It was a combination of these two. And then the black alone. So I got enough brown dye, which was nice. It actually didn't take that long once I set up that wall of 64. So we're in good shape. Um, I am going to make a squid farm, and that might show up in the next episode. But for now, I mean, I've got I've got uh, probably enough to last me long enough to actually get that farm up and running. So, yeah, let me get this running, and we'll be right back. 
All right, I think I got everything set up now. So there's the uh, gold abstract art piece. I hate how it's connecting to the glass, but whatever. It serves the purpose. And so I got it fully stocked, so we're doing one diamond per stack of 64. And then we got all the dies in here. So originally I was going to do whole separate chests, but I will never have more than one row of dies. And if I do, I'll just eat into the wool. I don't really sell that much. I think the most I've ever sold is probably, a, I don't know, a row and a half of wool at a time. But I did get 34 diamonds, so we sold quite a bit. It was a lot of the brown that was sold, so thank you to whoever did that. But there was some miscellaneous other ones too, so that kind of worked out. So yeah, we got a full row of every single die, with the exception of gray because of the black, and then obviously the black. So I need to get a squid farm going, but that'll be good enough for now just to entice people in here. Um, yeah, so all that I did is just went out to the ocean and got a bunch of squid for that one. Yeah, so I'm happy that this got stocked up now. I am absolutely loving this color palette. So when I was looking into Blue Nerd Minecraft, I had every intention on using the sandstone. Uh, but I don't know what possessed me to use the uh, just the straight acacia, but I, I like it. I like this whole color palette. And then taking some pages out of Blue Nerd. So um, I've already done kind of this style with the ladders on the side or the fence gate or you know, fences on the side. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see yeah, I dabble in that. I know there's a couple buildings over there that really had it, but yeah. But the staggering of the roof, I, I really, really, really like that. It looks amazing. So one thing I've learned, let's go take a look at the roof. Is this trick that he did. So if you just go straight into it, obviously you're going to have a little spot like that where, you know, it's going to poke through. So instead of going straight into it, you want, you know, instead of going here, you would actually turn it so that you get a little bit of a blip. And that actually looks really cool as the line goes up the roof. So you have kind of a, a you know, full block here with half there. It starts to look really cool. So I'm super glad I ran across his tutorial. Um, it's kind of a different style and I like the idea of staggering the wall so you get a really nice roof line. So we're going to get a really cool roof line on this stagger and then you can see back there and there. And quite frankly, if we go down here and look, now I'm not going to use the second story, but there is a ton of room in here for a building that really isn't that big. I had no intention on making it this big. Well, I mean, the line out was big, but it didn't seem like it was going to be this big. So, yeah, since it's kind of an L shape, it's actually kind of, kind of coming out with a lot of room inside. I like it. I'm going to continue on. It's it's a little bit different style from what I'm used to, but yeah. So normally I would do, you know, the whatever the structure block here. In this case, it's the, the acacia. I'd put it along here and here. And I tried that out and it just kind of diminished the look of the uh, the stone. So I'm kind of trying this out where the structure blocks are kind of only on the corners where you would actually expect it to be supported. Yeah, I like it. I love it. It's The color palette is coming out amazing. I'm super happy with this. Leah, so yeah, let me continue on doing this and we'll be right back with you. Let me show you something real quick. So you can see here I did one, two, three, and then started the roof line here. So basically the fourth one is kind of tucked up in. And over here I accidentally placed it one higher and I just wanted to show you what that does. So basically you expose one block above it. And if this tree wasn't in my way, you could be able to, be able to better see it. But there you go. But the problem with this is obviously the bottom floor isn't that way. So this looks squished compared to that long one. We go over here. This looks proportional to here. Even this being here looks a little bit out of place. I may need to bring that one down in order for that to work out. But anyways, I just wanted to give you kind of the look of their different scalings and perspectives and how it did. So originally I thought about doing this one higher starting all this one higher but 
I kind of really like the look of... We just get right here. This look. And then it would be kind of out of scale for this area. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But anyways, I knew it was going to be a two-story building, so I kind of wanted to keep it squatty. And truthfully, I'm glad I did. It would be two blocks taller than it is right now if we went with kind of a higher perspective. But yeah, I'm 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 learning different perspectives, scaling, and how everything kind of works out proportionally. So I like this building as is. So yeah, let me continue on. Oh, I love how this actually came out. This sandstone with the acacia gray just looks amazing. Yeah, I, I, I like how the uh, popping out the walls gives the uh, the roof a little bit of definition. Just kind of breaks it up. It looks good. And don't tell anybody. I can't place that shutter because this one. <laughs> uh, the screenshot, hopefully nobody will actually uh, see it. But yeah, maybe I'll fill it in. I don't know. It'll just it just looks weird with it. And if I fill it in all sandstone, it just looks weird that there's not a window there. But who knows? Anyways, let's take a look around here. So just detailed out just a little bit with the fences on the sides. Purposely popped this one out so we could get a little bit of greenery up top because that kind of helps break stuff up also. This side originally was going to be the front, but um, I love it. And, but if you start to get to kind of this angle, this roof looks a little bit wonky. So so basically, I, I fell in love with this side. So I actually put this door in here and it actually kind of works out. But it looks good from all the angles. I don't mind it at all. This backside looks really, really good too. So if you're ever going to do a house, I wish there wasn't trees in the way. This would actually look really good too. Maybe you could have a door through there. Yeah, so I'll keep that one in mind. So three, three, and then what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. That actually looks good too. I wouldn't mind seeing that on a, another building maybe. Yeah, and this one's also three, three, and looks like six also. So that kind of works out. Yeah, so my only major complaint is probably just this area right here. It just looks like... Once we get over here, it looks good, but once you get kind of from here to here, I don't know, in my mind, it just looks a little bit, I don't know, I don't even want to use lopsided, but, but yeah, I am overall extremely happy with it. And I've been doing the item frame, um, invisible item frame with the stuff on the front of it, just to designate, because we're getting enough around here now that it's, I'll, I'll remember where everything's at, but yeah, let's go inside and take a look. Yeah, so the floor I've been playing around, originally I had the polished diorite, and that just hurts my eyes. It's too much in here with the gray walls. I've seen this and this up against brick and stuff, and it seemed pretty good, but it, it was too much for my eyes. So I kind of toned it down with the andesite, polished andesite, and it's okay. I don't mind it. And then I put the carpets here mostly because um, I'm doing the double carpet trick to keep the mobs out. And I'm not overly happy with these pseudo lamps, so I don't know if I'm going to put those just straight on it. That almost looks better than having this kind of weird chain. I was trying to make a base out of like an item frame, but you just can't place it. So I'd have to do an armor stand and I just don't want to go through the hassle. So. Yeah, I'll probably just go through all of them and do just put them on there. Yeah, so this actually came out good. So we got Channeling and Riptide, and of course, like usual, I got all the books. And then over here is Loyalty and Impaling. Yeah, and this is the, the, the other door I was talking about. And I actually came out in a good spot. Let's take a look upstairs. Yeah, so I didn't have much to do up here, so I kind of put a bed and a little bit of an enchantment setup with all the goodies. Don't know how much I'm going to use this, but if I ever kind of in the area, it actually kind of works out. So yeah, I, I like it. And just kind of hung 
Did the just kind of wood for, for this time instead of hanging it from chain. Yeah, overall, I like how this came out. So let's go around and take a look one more time. I love all the angles on this. All right, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this content, hit that like button. Until next time, see ya!